Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 9 of this RMS Titanic tutorial. Today's focus, or the main focus at least, will be the masts, uh, fore and aft, and also the four funnels. But if we get time later on, we'll also add the lifeboats, um, and some other bits as well. But to the main focus is the funnels and the masts. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to pop down to the bridge wings, because uh, it's something I forgot to do in the previous part. So we added the bridge wings themselves in part 8, or was it part 7? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you've got the bridge wings here, and you've got the front wall of the bridge wing going out to the side there, and then at the actual bridge wing box, you've got the uh, back wall here. What we're going to do is from this corner here, we're going to build across or inwards 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then two back. So 1, 2, like that. So that creates that dividing wall between officers' area and sort of public access. So that's basically that wall there. So that's what that is there. And then we do the same on the other side, may as well get it out of the way. So from that corner you just add the 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 2 back like that. So there we go. Uh, and also it's been uh, mentioned to me that there are two small cargo hatches I've got to add, but I can't work out where they go yet, so I'm just going to wait for a bit of information on that before I add two extra cargo hatches. They're only small, and uh, they'll go on the stern somewhere. I think I know where they go, but I just can't confirm exactly so uh, I've got to look at the deck plans for that um, anyway onto the masts we've got the forward mast here I've already got it in position anyway so we built the first few blocks um, and like I said if you want to build it sort of uh, three I'll just like that so if you want to build it sort of three in diameter like that so you can climb up and down the inside then do so but I'm just going to build it as a single pole if you like so I'm going to, just going to build a single pole for the mast and then we'll leave it at that and we'll add the crow's nest at the top so the forward mast is going to be 15 so we've got it in position anyway uh, so the first bit is 15 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 already and we just add another 10 so it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so the bottom section is 15 and then the next section is 15 as well so one back we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the next section is 16. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then the next section is 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then the last section is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there we go. So it's, so it's 15, 15, 16, 16, 15. I don't know why there are two 16s instead of 15s. It's just what I've copied from the prototype. And I can't remember why I built uh, it in 16s and 15s instead of all just 15s or just all 16s. It doesn't matter. Uh, the mast is there nonetheless. Right. So what I'm going to do is flop down to the bottom now. So we go flat down there. And the crow's nest is on the sixth sixth block up on the second section. So we go to the second row of 15. So this is the bottom row. And up to the second row of 15, which is here. And it's on the sixth block up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is where we add the crow's nest. So uh, we'll add the base first. So it's sort of shaped like that. And then for the rest of the crow's nest, just build out two. And then sort of... Yeah, sort of, sort of like that. So it's sort of like a bathtub hanging from the top there. So that's the crow's nest. Nothing really special. But uh, you can add more detail to it, like the bell hanging down. So you can sort of put something there. You can hang the bell from that. If we had bells, but there you go. Anyway, that's the forward mast and the crow's nest added. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to add. Apart from the flag of St. George at the top. So, like on the prototype, I always add the flag of St. George, even though the ship was registered in Bel uh, Liverpool, well not Liverpool, it's an American owned ship, wasn't it, Titanic so um, you know, it's up to whoever wants to uh, interpret whatever but this is an American owned ship, or well, built with American money anyway, I mean JP Morgan, wasn't it uh, anyway, that's the flag of St. George there, I think it's meant to be an American flag and a Union Jack somewhere, I don't know I don't really know the full full ins and outs of what the ship was but uh, anyway that's the foremast added so I'm just going to fly down to the stern now 
and do the other mast. Then we've already got that one in position as well. We've got the uh, the base of it. We built that in uh, the previous part, I think it was. So we'll just go down to where the mast is, and I'll just double check to make sure it should be where. I'll just give you a rough diameter. So from the centre block back there, it should be on the ninth block forward, and the mast itself, the bottom section should be ten. So that's five already. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten there. And then we want uh, 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and then we want uh, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, I'll just double check that because I've screwed up so many times, so it should be bottom to top should be 16. Yep, and then the next row is 16 as well, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then the last section is 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we go, that's the mast added there. So it's 10, 15, 16, 16, 15. And then I'll add the other flag of St. George. Uh, to that, so red, red, red cross. There we go. You can add any colour, any uh, national flag to it if you want, depending on where you come from. I'm not going to uh, argue with that. All right, so that's the two masts. Now what we're going to do is fly over to the bridge, the front end of the ship, and we're going to start with the funnels. Um, now all four funnels are the same, and they all sit at the same height. Um, which is something I've carefully designed as we went along. So each funnel is exactly the same, apart from the top grill, which will be added last. But they're the same height, same diameter, same same width, and all things like that. So what we'll do is go down to the bridge and uh, go from there. So on my ship, I added a, an overhang to the bridge. Some people did not. So uh, if you added the overhang from the center block, if you added the overhang, you're going to count forward. Uh, a 19 gap. If you don't have the overhang, then it's an 18 gap. So um, just sort of get out of the way. So from the centre block, we're going to. If you've got the overhang, which I have, then I'm going to count 19 forward. So it's a 19 gap. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So on, I just want to double check this actually because I've I've not written this down very well. Is it a 19 gap from the from the overhang or 19 gap from the grey wall? I can't remember. So if I go from the overhang to the front of the funnel, which is 19, so I need to go from the grey wall. So yeah, that'd be fine. So I'll go from the grey wall, not the overhang itself. All right, so I'll try again. So from the centre block, we go from the grey wall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And on the 20th block is where we build the funnel. So I'm just going to measure the gap to make sure it's right still. Up to the grey block there, and yet that's 19. So there we go. That's the 19 gap. And this is where we're going to build our funnel. So the funnel is 3 wide. So you've got the centre block there. And we're going to work out to the left. So the funnel is three wide and we build out to two and two. So building out two. And then we build um, two back. And then we go three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Like so. And then curving back in again, we add three, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three. Uh, and then we add two, and then we add two, like that. And then we add another block for the center point. So that's the center there, and that's the half diameter of the funnel so I just do the other side so we add two out damn it so two out two out and then two back and three one two three three again one two three three back in one two three and three again one two three and we add two and two and there we go that's the diameter of our funnel and it should look something like that so you can see it's symmetrical well front and back symmetrical left and right symmetrical so <laughs> if you get my idea it's not fully round it's oval shaped so yeah, that's the first uh, funnel in place. So what we're going to do before I <coughs> before I build the funnel, I'm going to get the dimensions or the measurements of where each funnel goes. The placements, that's the one. So 
between funnel number one and funnel number two, and it's the same for all four funnels, there's a gap of uh, 47 blocks. So it's a 47 gap. So from the back wall here, we're going to count from this block here, 47 blocks. So that's number one. And it's a 47 gap to the next funnel. And that's 49, so 48, 47. So on the 48th block, we start again. So it's a 47 block gap between each funnel. So I'll just do the same again. So it's three wide and then two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, one. Same the other side, two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and two. And there we go, that's where the second funnel goes. Still on the centre line of the ship, but of course the deck house is not symmetrical, so you're not on the centre of the actual deck house. But you can see I've added the centre block of the deck behind on the deck house, so that is in line with the next funnel. So you've got two funnels there, or two funnel placements, 47 blocks between them. So I just do the same with the next funnel, so another 47 block gap. So that's block number one, and I won't count it, I'll just measure it. So I just fly to the other deck house, which is the grey building, and that's 44, 45, 46, 47. And on the 48th block, we start building, so that's where the second, uh, where the third funnel goes. Sorry. So we add uh, three wide again, and we go two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and two, and then one. Same on the other side, we add two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and two. And there's funnel number three on that deck house there. So that's three funnels in place. And then for the fourth funnel, it's the same process, another 47 block gap. So block number one is there. And we just count, <laughs> try and count back. Down onto this deck house here, that's 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And on block 48 is where we build the next funnel. So it's three wide again. And then it's two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and two, and one. Same the other side, two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, and two. And there we go, that's funnel number four in place. And as you can see, the funnel is slightly wider than the actual deck house, so those bulges around the side of the deck house actually work in perfect position, so you can see they're in perfect harmony with each other. So there we go, there's the four funnels in place, or the four placements for the funnels. And now we just need to build them up. So I'm going to go back to funnel number one and do our usual routine. So we just flop down, plonk down to the first funnel. And the first funnel, uh, we're going to go from the uh, yellow point, or the centre point of the front, sorry. And we're going to build up uh, seven. So from the centre, build up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then behind that, we add nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So it's uh, seven, nine, eight, like that. So uh, it, all in total, it should be eight, nine, eight. But because we've already got the bottom in section, we just added. Uh, seven to the seven to the bottom what we already have so it's seven nine eight and then for the black section uh, which I use I used wool on the prototype but I use concrete this time so we use black concrete uh, and on the top for the for the black part we add uh, one and then we add nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's the full height of the funnel and you just want to use that same design on every section of the uh, funnel. So, like what I'm saying is, you build the next section on this point, and then the next section on that point, and then on there, and then on there, and then on there, and then on the same on the back parts here, 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 and here, and there. So there we are. There's where all the sections will go. So I'm going to use copy paste for this. So I'm going to use the copy. Uh, copy down to Splunk there and I'm going to go copy from there so copy and I'm going to paste it on each section so I do paste there and then paste there 
paste it there, paste it there, and paste it there. And as you can see, you've got the first few sections of the funnel in place. I do the other side. So you paste it there, paste it there, paste it there, paste it there, and paste it there. So that's the front half of the funnel done. So I'm just going to copy from the back of the uh, front of the funnel. So you copy again. And then I can paste on the back sections of the funnel. So we go paste there, paste there, paste there, paste there, and then across the back, and then up the other side. And there we go, that's the back sections of all the funnel done. So that's the funnel all in place. There are a few sections that have gone missing. Uh, because of the copy paste process, but I just refill them back in because Minecraft is a bit funny like that. I do the same on the other side. There we go, that's all the sections of the funnel in place. And then the last job you need to do is just go inside and fill in all the gaps. So flop down to the bottom, splonk and fill in all the gaps that's another one of those really boring jobs because it's a lot of climbing and falling and climbing and falling and some more climbing and some more falling but what I do, I just do the one side and I can just copy and flip it to the other side and I probably might as well just copy the funnel into all the other uh, positions as well so I'll just do the one side and then we'll move on. Add the black. Put that wrong. Go from this end. <laughs> And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I think. Minus that block, maybe. Can't quite remember, but uh, if I get rid of, rid of these blocks here. Uh, I think that's right, isn't it? No, it's not. Put them back. And then the funnel should look something like that. So. Yeah, that's we go. That's the funnel. Now, uh, apologies if that didn't come out in proper English, but uh, hey ho, there we go. It's all trial and error. Um, for the more uh, de uh, well, the people who are more in it, uh, more into detail, uh, you're going to want to slope the yellow section where it joins the black. So, because the funnel's slanted anyway, but the, the the join between the black and the red is not slanted, and also the top of the funnel's not slanted. So, if you want to go ahead and add more detail and slant the funnels more, by all means do so. I just leave them as they are because of what they've done on the prototype but uh, that's all that so what I'm going to do now I've got the funnel in place I do a quick jump cut while I do the other side and then we'll uh, just add the rest of the funnel so um, back in a moment okay back again I filled in both sides of the funnel and it all should look something like this so it's a nicely slanted weird shaped funnel very different to what I'd done on the original ship because that, they were just straight pipes but all things are much better now. The original one I'm referring to is the one I built in 2010 and uh, did two tutorials for and uh, they were hated <laughs> by everybody. Anyway, that's the funnel done. Before we move on to uh, placing them elsewhere, we're going to add the forward ladder. So we're going to flop down to the uh, deck level and we're going to get uh, some grey wool and also the ladder uh, thing. So from the centre of the funnel we just build up grey along the forward edge of the yellow all the way to the top so on the yellow like that and then we just add the ladder to it so I mean this is just basic details but you know it works nonetheless so that's the uh, ladder added there and you can add more details around the front here because there were whistles as well but uh, the whistles were I think they're bronze were they? Were, they, were they bronze or were they brass I can't remember um, I suppose he's brown wool for that, but I don't really know what to do with uh, 
how to do whistles. So I've put a couple of blocks there, they can represent whistles. More like a couple of BDIs, really, don't they? But uh, I don't really know what to do with whistles. We could, could use stone wall, really, couldn't we? Uh, where do you get stone wall from? I can't remember. All things gone to top. Mm. Oh, stone. Oh, there it is. Cobblestone wall. Go away. Right, so I could put put those there. They could represent whistles. No, there we go. Just put the put them two there, and they could represent the whistles. That's uh, as good as it's going to get. Uh, yeah. So that's that. And then the last <laughs> the last job we want to do is to add the grill to the top of the funnel. So one block below the top of the funnel, and uh, so on the inside, one block below the top, we just add a couple of grills, or struts across to add the grill top to the funnel. Each one block apart. And the first three funnels have this design. Funnel number four, because it was a, a dud funnel, it uh, has a more covered grill. And there we go, there's the grill added to the top. And that's pretty much all the detail we're going to add to the funnels. So what I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use the copy paste tool. So I'm going to build out one, two, three, four, f four, do that. So I'm going to copy from there, and then copy down to the other side uh, there. And hmm, could be an interesting one. But then we'll go copy. And I'm going to paste the same thing all the way around. So this may go wrong because I've, I've, I've copied the ladder as well. So we <laughs> have to wait and see on this one. So if I stand here and paste the next following, and that's fine. I didn't add the ladder, so that's uh, kind of ruined that. So I just add the rest of the uh, ladder to it. And remove the did the second funnel have whistles? I can't remember. I think it might have done. So I'll leave the whistles on funnel number two. And we'll go from there. So that's two funnels in place. I'll just go to funnel number three. And uh, do the same thing again. So put a block on the end there. And then I'll paste it to there. And there we go. That's funnel number three in place. What I've done, I've also copied the bloody wood as well. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. Bear with me, I've got to redo this. Stupid blooming thing. Uh, yeah, what I've done, I copied the bloody wood deck as well, so that's gone to tits. So we'll go to there and copy from there. And then we copy the bottom bit. And hopefully that will work better. So I can do funnel number three again without the wood deck getting in the way. So flop down to there and we do paste. And there we go, funnel number three is in place. And I can add the ladder to the front there. And there we go. Things aren't going too well today, you can probably tell that. And I can also remove the whistles, because I don't think funnel number three had whistles. So there we go, funnel number three in place. And then lastly, funnel number four. We just plonk down to that, and paste there. And there we go, funnel number four is in place. Just add the ladder. And there we go, funnel number four in place. And before we go ahead and have a look at what we've done, we're going to remove the whistles. And for the grill inside, uh, I think we'll leave one, two, three, four, say three sections of the grill, and the rest we'll just fill in uh, like this. So most of the top of the funnel number four was covered, so we'll add like that. We'll leave it like that, so three three struts across, and then the rest be covered like that. So that's the, that's the fourth funnel. And then we can move away and marvel at what we've created. So now the ship has a full row of funnels slash smokestacks. And there we go, that is the uh, ship in all her beauty. Still got work to do, but hey ho, there we go. So yeah, that's uh, the four funnels and the two masts in place. So the ship is definitely taking shape now. Um, also, one more job to do before we move on to something else. Got to, or shall we? No, what I'll do, I'll leave it for now, and we'll come back and do the next job in a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jump cut, measure out what the next job is going to be, which will be lifeboats, 
and then we'll come back and sort that out from there so um, back in a moment okay back again now what we're going to do now is move on to the lifeboats uh, so we're going to start with the two either side of the funnel or at least do one anyway and then I can uh, copy it to the other side so we're going to go down to the first funnel and we're going to go to the center block of the side of the funnel so the side panel of three wide here and we're going to the bottom we're going to leave <coughs> a single no a two block gap so one two gap and on the third block is where we build our lifeboat so it's going to be three wide at the base and the base is going to be nine long, so that's going to be four forward and four back. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, like so. And at the front, we add two like that, and at the back, we add two, and then we add two and two again. And at the front, we go or the other side, we go two and two again. At the back, we add two and two again, and on the other side, two and two again, like that, and then basically join them together across there, join them together across there, then we add the base like so, and if you want to you can get rid of these corner blocks and put the floor in, and that centre block there, same with the back end, get rid of the centre and the corners, add the floor, and there we go, there's the first, uh, well, what I call dinghy, but it's not, it's the uh, collapsible lifeboat uh, sort of spares, weren't they, they were just uh, sort of chucked up there. But that's where those two go and you just want to do the same on the other side so um, yeah what I'm going to do I'm going to try and do a copy paste here so uh, uh, sure, add a block there and copy from that and then copy up to uh, say up to that point let me use the copy flip to the right and then paste and hopefully it will go fine and yep there we go there. there's the other lifeboat in place so that's the two boats either side of the first funnel and there we go now for the next 16 boats now I'm only going to do the next 16 I know there's meant to be an extra lifeboat that hangs over uh, the first the first two or the first lifeboat on either side now, I'm not going to add that because the, the pictures I've seen seem to contradict the other pictures I've seen so I'm just going to do the, all the lifeboats as they are and leave out the two extras but if you want to add the two extras that's that's fine do so uh, I'm just too lazy to, to do it properly so I'm just going to add the lifeboats the way I want to right so before we add the lifeboats we're going to go down to the bridge wings which are on the side here and I'm working on the left hand side so from the bridge wing we're going to add a line of blocks along the side we're going to add uh, uh, I can't remember how we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to add eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight from the bridge wing, like so, and then one block in from the end. So end block there, one back, one in. We add the first davit. So that's going to be six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two, and then one like that. So that's the first davit there. And then we leave a 14 gap, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, we start again, so we add the second davit, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, and 1. There we go. So that's the first pair of davits, and then the lifeboat will go in between. And the lifeboat itself, uh, you can copy my design, which I'm sort of puzzling what to do, or you can do your own design, but I'm just getting the lifeboat davits in place, so um, we know what we're doing, but uh, I think what I'll do, before I build the boat, I'll get the next set of davits in place, so we'll leave a single block gap and add the second set of davits, so one, two, three, four, five, six, two up and one, and then a 14 block gap again, so I'll just measure as I go, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and on the 15th block, we build again. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two up and one. So that's where the second boat will go. And then another single block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, two up and one. And then another 14 block gap. 10, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, same again. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, two up and one. So that's where boat number three. And then another single gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, and one. And then another 14 gap. 11, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, which is that one, we add one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two up and one. And there we go, that's the first four lifeboats. So the way they go, you've got four lifeboats on this corner of the deck, four lifeboats in the back corner, and then the same on the other side, four down the back corner and four up the front corner. So this is the first four, the first four davits anyway. Or the first four davit placements. And then for the boat, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add two blocks in from the end and one block back. We're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think. So 12 like that. And then we add 2 and then 1 at the end and then 2 and 1 at the end there. So there's the, di there's the sort of length of your boat. And for the bottom of the boat we add uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 down the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And at the end we add 2 out and then 2 out. The other side, 2 out, 2 out. And then 1, 2 out and then 1 and 2 out. And then join them together. Like so, so like I said, it's not a strictly accurate boat. There's nothing really special, but you get the idea of how it's designed. And then we can remove a few of the corner blocks to make the boat a bit more um, streamlined. So we remove some of the some of the extra blocks we don't need. And the same on the inside. Remove that one, that one, and that one. That one, that one, and that one. And that sort of maximises the space, but also keeps the boat quite bulky. So that's, that's the first boat done. And I just want to do the same thing in uh, the next between the next two lifeboat uh, next two davits and then the next set of davits and the next set of davits so you have four boats on the side there and it should all look fine so I shall try and well, I don't really want to use copy paste but I think I'm going to have to so uh, go out to and copy from there and then copy down to that point there and I shall copy from the side of the davit so copy there and then I shall paste the next lifeboat in. So you paste there. And yep, there's the second boat. And then go to the next davit and paste in the next one. And that's the next one. And then finally, lifeboat four. Do the same again. And there we go. So there we are. There's the four lifeboats and the four davits, or four sets of davits. And uh, it should all look something like that. So basically what you want to do is just do the same thing on the other side. You add the eight row and then the lifeboat davits. And yeah, that should be that. So it's the same on the left as they are on the right. So that's one set of lifeboats done. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to fly down to the back end of the boat deck. And uh, put the dimensions of where the next set goes. So the set on the stern. So we're still on the left hand side. We're going to go down to the back corner of the boat deck. So this very back corner here. And we're going to count four forward from there. So that's one from the corner. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, one in, we add the davit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two up and one. And then again, the 14 block gap. Two, 11, 12, 13, 14. On the 15th block, do the same again. So two, three, four, five, six. Two up and one. And then a single gap, one, two, three, four, five, six, two up and one. And then the 14 gap again, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, same again, one, two, three, four, five, six, two up, one. So we've got those two sets already. Then one block gap, one, two, three, four, five, six, two up, one. And then the 14 gap again, 10, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, two up, one, <laughs> one that way. So that's three sets, and then the one gap again. One, two, three, four, five, six, two up, one. And then the fourteen gap again. So fourteen, and on the fifteenth block we go one, two, three, four, five, six, two up, one. And there we go. That's the next set of davits done, and they go on the stern or the back end at least, so you're four blocks forward of the back of the deck, so you've got a little gap there, and that's where those da davits go, so I'm going to paste the, the boats in again as well, so it's the same boat design between each davit, so I shall paste there, so that's number one done, and then the next one here, so that's two, and then number three, 
And finally, number four. To there. So there we go, that's the four boats on the stern there. And uh, there we go. And uh, the same lifeboat design was used on my original design all those years ago, but uh, <laughs> like the propellers, they're the only thing that's been salvaged from that uh, original ship. It's uh, sort of ship of thesis, really. Or the fancy term for triggered broom. But uh, there we go. Anyway, that's uh, you've got four boats on the front end, four, four boats on the back end. And you just want to do the same thing on the other side in exactly the same position, the same dimensions and all things like that. And uh, it should all be fine. So I think what I can do, I think what I what I will do, I'll do a jump, or not jump cut, I'll do a copy paste because it will be easy. So if I copy from there up to the front end and try and do this properly because this never works whenever I do it off camera or on camera but I'm going to try and get it right this time so copy to that point and I shall stand on the front of the bridge and copy it there and paste it, flip it and paste it and hopefully it will work or stand in line with the bridge anyway so I'll do copy do flip to the right and then paste and there we go, there they are, that's them in position. We've got the four sets there, four sets up there. So all I need to do is just add the eight blocks that go in the front here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's fine. And uh, that's yeah, that's that fine there. So we've got four lifeboats either side at the front, four lifeboats either side at the back. And uh, yeah, the ship is definitely taking shape. <laughs> so there we go. Um, one more job to do between each set. So between the front set and the back set, I'm going to add a wall along the side of the ship. So from the back davit of the front set, so last davit here, we add from well, one block out and one block back. We start building a wall. So from that point, we just build a wall all the way back. I've not got an exact number, but it just goes all the way up to the uh, forward davit of the back set. So let's see when we get there. So just build all the way back. And there we go, up to the back set there. So there we go, there's the wall that goes between the two. So you've got no chance of falling off now. So when you're walking along the deck, you can see you're not going to fall off. But that just goes between the front set and back set of lifeboats. So I should do the same on the other side. May as well get out of the way. So I'll go from the back, working forward this time. And there we go. That's that wall added there, and uh, there will be a, a brown uh, brown top added to this later on. But we'll do that in uh, the next part. So the detailing bits will be done later on. But that's the wall added to both sides, and uh, that should pretty much cover it. But while I've got the ladder tool available to me, or not the ladder tool, but the ladder block, I'm just going to go down to the side of the bridge. So you've got the bridge here, the wheelhouse there, and just outside the wheelhouse on the side. Between these two windows, just going to add the ladder up the side there, up the side of the bridge, and I'll do the same the other side. Between the two windows, just go up like that. So your your windows may be differently laid out, but uh, I've just added them like that. So I've got uh, a window, one block in from the end, and one window, one block out from the wheelhouse. And I'll put the ladder down in the middle like that, but your windows may be laid out differently, so uh, it may be an issue later on. But not to worry. So there we go, that's uh, that little job there. And like I said, we are definitely taking shape. So we've got the masts, funnels, lifeboats, and really all that's left is just the small details. Like uh, vents, handrails, a few cowlings, uh, two small cargo hatches which I need to know where they go. And that's pretty much it I think. So there'll be one more part, which will be part 10, uh, which will be out Friday, and well, hopefully Friday, and uh, we'll go from there. So um, that's pretty much it. So we'll just have a quick fly around again. So we've got funnels, masts, lifeboats, uh, pardon me, and uh, a few other, uh, pardon me, gubbins done. And uh, yeah, not doing too bad. But, uh, 
Like I say, we're definitely getting through this one. It's been a real pleasure to build so far. It's uh, apart from the hull, which was a real pain in the ass. The rest of it's been fine, and uh, yeah, not done too bad. But like I say, still plenty more to do in terms of the small details, just to flesh out the ship. I mean, we've still got the compass platform to add um, later on, so still that job to do. And uh, after Titanic, we can move on to the Majestic over there. But that still needs to be finished as well. So uh, don't expect that to be out too soon. But I've got to do a preview video of that later on anyway. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for part 9. So like I say, part 10, which will hopefully be the final part, will be all the small details. And uh, we'll probably finish it off there. So, um, so yeah, this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And hopefully return in part 10 uh, very soon. So... Uh, Bye for now.